Hi, what's up guys? Welcome to the special episode on the International Children's Day, which is at least in my country celebrated today. So let's just check this Meng Kit TU2 bomber from Meng Kit series. As the name suggests, the model is mainly for children. Is it really so? We will see. A quick glance at the box. According to Meng, no glue or any additional tools are needed to build it. It's marked for the 14 plus age, so it's rather for older children. On the box you will find a brief bomber description. Painting and sticker scheme. And instructions. It fits on the box bottom, there are only three steps listed, so it shouldn't take too long to assemble. Inside you will find almost ready-made elements of the fuselage, one sprue with smaller parts, a transparent one with glazing and stickers. The model is not very detailed, but it is for kids, so I didn't expect it to be. You can almost push out the elements from the sprue and they are almost ready for assembly. However, I decided to improve them a bit and sand in some places. So let's check if assembling it without glue is even possible. I'm gonna speed up this process a bit. Unfortunately, the assembly is not as easy as it might seem. I'm talking mainly about matching elements. Some parts require a lot of strength to fit in. In my opinion, assembly could be difficult not only for a child, but even for many adults. I suggest to check the elements before and sand it if necessary. After such treatment, the plane assembly is very quick. It took me about 7 minutes and I was in no rush. This is undoubtedly a plus when the construction is actually carried out by the child, as the end result can be seen quickly. Probably an adult help will be needed here. As you can see, the individual parts don't fit perfectly, it's a pity because I think an easy click system would do the trick here. However, I think that even in this version the plane would satisfy many children. But I'm gonna play a little more. So I glued the main parts of the fuselage together and prepared it for painting. I'm gonna paint the model completely without using an airbrush as our potential child could. So I used a grey spray primer from Vallejo. Just remember to apply the paint from a distance of about 20 to 30 centimeters. And of course, don't forget about ventilation and protection against excessive vapors inhalation. If you don't have a spray booth, I suggest you do this outdoors, for example on a balcony. After the primer is dry, it's time to paint. Here, in my opinion, we are only limited by fantasy, and in fact, the fantasy of a child. If your toddler would like a whole red, yellow or red plane with yellow dots, this is the one for you. For the purpose of this episode, let's just assume that our potential child wished to paint a TU2 bomber in a tricolor camouflage pattern that was painted on bombers around 1942 in Moscow. It's likely, I guess. Hataka blue paints are very good for brush painting, so I focused mainly on this series. Brushing should be done with well diluted paint. Just apply 2, 3 or even 4 thin layers, letting the paint dry between each layer. For larger surfaces, I suggest you use a flat brush. 
it's easier to apply the paint evenly, creating a uniform surface. While the paint on the fuselage was drying, I was painting smaller parts using mainly Vallejo model color paints. These ones are also very nice for brush painting. As I mentioned at the beginning, we are celebrating Children's Day in Poland today. International Children's Day was first proclaimed in Geneva during the World Conference on Child Welfare. Since 1950, it's celebrated on 1st June in most communist and post-communist countries. World Children's Day is celebrated on the 20th of November to commemorate the Declaration of Rights of the Child by the UN General Assembly of the 20th November 1959. Children's Day is celebrated on different days of the year in different countries. For example, in US, it is the second Sunday of June. In Germany, 20th of November. And in Poland, it's today, 1st of June. But let's get back to our little plane. As you can see, after applying a few layers, we get a nice coverage. Brush painting, of course, it's not as effective as we would do with an airbrush, but it's mainly about having fun, especially for the child painting the model himself. After painting, I've installed most of the bomber's parts and pasted some stickers. I covered the model with a semi mud varnish. Why this way? Well, I didn't want to spray on the plane glazing and I assumed masking the windows would be too hard to task for a child. After the varnish had dried, I painted the interior with a dark grey color and finally put the plane together. Then I've pasted last stickers and the model is ready. So 
So is it a scale model for children? Yes and no. Certainly an adult's help will be useful. And I will say more, it's even recommended. Especially on a day like today, maybe try to spend a little more time with your kids, perhaps just building a Soviet bomber together. I wish all children, no matter what country they come from, wonderful moments today, lots of impressions and attractions. And to you, my dear modelers, I wish all successfully made models spend a good time with your kid today. I also wish you all happy Children's Day. After all, in each of us there is still a part of a child, and in modelers probably a million of such particles. Take care and see you soon guys, bye!